Hi guys, this is Kudo, and today in this video I will show you how you can make an auto scroll text like a generic at the end of the movie. So let's get started. So, first thing first, we need to create a script. So let's create a C sharp script and let's call the script auto scroll. Alright, and open it in Visual Studio. Alright, so as soon as you open this in the Visual Studio, you will need to import, uh, so using system using uh, system and what I want to use it's a text mesh pro because we'll use this text mesh pro on unity after that I will need a float so will um, corresponding to the speed of my text of the scrolling speed so let's say hundred zero dot oops sorry zero dot f after that I will need uh, float um, uh, text uh, pause begin to know where the text begin so we will see that just after just after uh, preparing all the variable and after I will need to uh, float uh, boundary uh, boundary uh, text end so you will, will you will be understanding this very very soon so after that i will need i will need the rect uh, rect transform uh, so it will it will corresponding to my game object my game object transform uh, my game object rect transform let's call it like like that transform and after that i will need so let's serialize this field because every 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 variable of this script is private so I will need this to be serializable and let's say text mesh uh, pro UGI it will corresponding to my main text so this will corresponding to all my text I will create so after that, uh, what I need to do, oh yeah, we can add if you want. Uh, you don't need to serialize it, but I will do it. So serialize field, if you want to your text to loop. So let's say bool uh, is looping. So to, to the base, I will say false, but so maybe you don't understand. So let me explain. So let's head back to Unity. So uh, let's create a UI text right now. All right, so uh, by default, when you create a text, oh, sorry, I would not use uh, uh, delayed. Sorry, I will not use a UI text, but UI text mesh pro. It's way better, and I recommended you to, to use this. Anyway, so um, as soon as you create a text, you will create an automatic canvas and as soon as you use canvas let's change our, our us scale mode to uh, scale with screen size and let's say uh, 1980 by 1080 oops sorry not 10,000 all right it will be much easier so uh, basically what i want to do so let's uh, reset this all right so what basically I want to do is just uh, create a text and I want this text to scroll like this, like a generic movie, rem uh, like Avenger or something like that. Um, and I want to to just the text to, to scroll like that. So to be able to do that, uh, I already create a, a prefab, so I will create a text. So it will it call my text, so let's drag and drop it. So I don't need this. And as you can see, uh, I already typed my text here. So this is a word, blah, 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 blah. Don't worry. Uh, this is, you can use any type of text. But just remember, um, right now, when I use this text, I got the width and the height. And as you can see, you got a uh, position on the my text. So the position on my text will be minus 800 to uh, 800. 25. So basically, uh, uh, the more I got the text, the more um, my 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 text um, begin need to be resized. 
or transform if you want. So as you can see, if I double my size text right now, I need to get my start position to minus 1010. So right now I don't need that, I just type my text. And what I need to know too is at what position my text is get out of the, the canvas. So right now it's around, oh, it's maybe a little bit too much. So it's around, yeah, 825, I guess. So to be sure, so let's put 800, um, 825. So right now, what I can do is just head back to Unity, uh, head back to my script and for the text position begin, uh, I think it was uh, minus 825.0f and um, and the boundary n it will be equal to 825 I think it's the same but just positive so f all right just um, 800 uh, oh, I forget to I receive equal so let's oops let's so that again um, yeah, it's, yes, it's minus, yeah, minus 825. And if I press, oops, if I press plus, I think it will just work fine. All right, so it worked just fine. So uh, I already, so do not forget to drag and drop your, your script on the prefab or on your text, whatever. So just drag and drop your script, auto scroll, on the on my text and do not forget to drag and drop your text here on the my uh, main text pro so um, the is looping right now it will you will see I will explain it just after so let's head back to Visual Studio and right now what I want to do is just so on a start um, on a start function what I'm gonna do is my uh, game object rect transform will be equal to game object dot uh, get component dot uh, rect transform. So again, it's up to it's up to you if you want to make it public or serious ball and drag and drop your text. It's it's basically up to you. Right now, I'm just using that because I don't know. I just feel like using. But again, same. It's the same. And um, what I'm gonna create? I don't need the update function. Uh, I will create uh, e-enumerator, so e-enumerator, and let's call it auto scroll, oops, not scroll, auto scroll text. Text. All right. So in this uh, in this coroutine, what I'm gonna do is very easy. So what I'm gonna do is say while uh, while my uh, game object track transform dot local position dot y. So I need to use the local position because let's head back to Unity. The local position is um, the po because my text is a children of the canvas. So I need to to use the local position. I don't use um, transform because we're working with the UI. So we need to use rec transform as you can see here. So do not forget to use local transform because I I think it shouldn't work. Uh, I didn't test it, but trust me. So uh, while my game object transform dot local position dot y it's um, uh, lower than my boundary text end. All right. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do so. Uh, I will say my game object dot transform dot translate so what I'm gonna do I want to translate on the vector 3 dot up so vector 3 dot up again is the vector 0 1 0 as you can see so on the y-axis so I want to translate this uh, game object on the transform so on the y-axis time speed time time dot delta time so time dot sorry dot delta time all right so oops so um, last thing i want to do 
uh, do not forget to yield uh, return oops yield return null null yeah all right and last thing I want to do just call my coroutine so all right not like that so start coroutine all right clack clack and and that's it guys so um, let's see what's happening so if I hit play right now so I drag and drop everything I want all right and if I hit play let's hit play yeah sorry about that to work just fine so as you can see my my text is scroll it's automatically scrolling so how awesome is that so not need to do anything but the, um, the thing I want to let you know so as soon as the, the text will reach uh, the boundary so right now you can see it's increasing it's inc increasing so um, right now this is why I put a boolean right now on the script here uh, right now so um, it's basically up to you you can basically do this so if uh, is looping so is looping equal to true so right now it's equal to, to false if is looping equal to true what I'm gonna do uh, what I'm gonna do is my game object dot rect transform dot local again local position will be equal to vector 3 dot up so again it's um, 0 1 0 it will be equal to vector 3 dot up time so uh, text uh, pause begin So if it's not, so else, what I'm going to do is just break um, break of, um, of my coroutine. So let's hit play and let's see what's happened. So, so let's hit play. So right now, oops, sorry, yep, I'm still working. So what's happening? Uh, let's hit play. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, for sure, it will not working because um, I put uh, looping right now. So um, I need to say if. Uh, my game object dot local position dot y is upper than the boundary text. So if we reach the end of the boundary, what I'm gonna do is check if you want to loop or not the text. It will be much <laughs> smart to do this way. So let's head back to our code and let's see. And let's press play. All right, so let's press play. So as you can see, our is looping is on false. So if I not uh, it in on false, so the coroutine will stop as soon as you will hit the, the end of the text. So right now, if I'm just pressing to is looping, you will see it will keep looping. So let's say uh, let's see the end, and as soon as it's reaching the end, as you can see, the text is looping. So that's it guys, so this is a very quick tutorial. On the next part, you, I will show you how you can customize the, um, the text and you will see it will be, it will be easier, so don't worry. So if you like the content, subscribe if you want, dislike if you want, like if you want, so it's up to you, it's 2021. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.